If you guys want to try something absolutely spectacular, and I mean absolutely spectacular, try this bacon wrap meatloaf roll. You are going to love it. All right, the first thing you want to do is add a couple of pounds of ground beef to a bowl, followed by four cloves of crushed garlic. Love my garlic. In with a few cracks of salt. Some ground black pepper, and this is about a half a teaspoon of each. Another half teaspoon of onion powder. Now you can use whole onions too. I just find it makes it a little too clumpy in the mixture. About a tablespoon of my all time favorite Worcester sauce. Couple of tablespoons of that all time favorite staple, ketchup. Crack in a couple of eggs. and about a third of a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. Now this is kind of like making a meatloaf, guys. Well, actually it is. And of course, you can adjust the seasoning according to your liking. Now we'll just go ahead and mix all this up. I mean, you can get down and dirty too and use your hands. I'm just using the spoon for presentation purposes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll just grab up this wonderful ball of meat here and place it on a baking sheet lined with some aluminum foil. So now what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and press this out until we get a nice rectangle. I'm gonna lay some cheese slices over top of that meat. And this is a yummy cheddar cheese, real cheddar cheese slices that I picked up. Then we shall add some spinach over the top. This is not necessito, but you know, I just kind of like it. So now what we're going to do is roll this up. So what you can do is grab the edge of the foil, this is a holder, and kind of turn this over like that and begin to roll. And then just kind of keep rolling and pulling until you reach the final part. Next up, I'm going to grab some bacon strips, lay them over the top and just kind of tuck them under. Something like that. Tidy this up a little bit so it doesn't look like a scary monster. Then another optional step here, my friends. You don't have to do this, but I am gonna brush this up with some hickory barbecue sauce, maple hickory, just to make it exceptionally yummy. Now we're gonna slip this into a 350 degree Fahrenheit 180 Celsius oven for about 35, 40 minutes. After 35, 40 minutes, guys, just look at this. Doesn't that look spectacular? Now I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a few minutes. All right, let's cut into this, guys, and see what we have. Oh, is that ever cutting nicely? All right, guys, let's take a peek inside. Oh my goodness, just look at this. And there you have it, guys, our bacon-wrapped meatloaf roll. And you know what? I can see this going with some onion rings, some crispy fries, and guess what? We have a recipe for all of those, so I'll put them below in the description and even put them above here. Okay, let's see what we have here, guys. Just check this out. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm.